ask you those two. Royal Cotillard. Alan Page didn't win the Oscar. A French actor did in a movie I never heard of. But I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. She'll, she'll win Oscars. They don't take teenage parts seriously, I guess, in Hollywood. He was the best actor in a leading role for you, though. They just discriminated against her because she's an old slow show. Every week, I go to a screenwriters meeting. At the meeting are other local screenwriters like me who aspire for greatness and for Hollywood success. And it's a great place to share feedback, positive feedback, and give good criticisms and feel safe in creativity. And I really like it, except for there's one jerk there named Graham Putnam who's always making bad judgments and has terrible ideas and uh, has no good ideas for movies either. And he kind of is a jerk. What? With the time travel machine and loves it. What is it, magic? How the hell does that end up in a little pawn shop somewhere? If you had a time travel machine, would you pawn it? Maybe because the person knew of the bad consequences of, then of being able to time travel. Why would you spread it out into the public? You destroy it. That, that happens all the time, Graham. Okay, please uh, go on, go on. But then I do too good of a job of cock blocking, and I impregnate one of the girls in the past. In the present day, my kids start showing up, looking for uh, me, and complicating my Jerry, life. Jerry, and first, I'm Jerry, confused that you know in Hollywood you only get a set amount of time to pitch. You know, so if you can just get to the point. But this isn't Hollywood, Jason. This is called Prince Rhode Island, Charlotte. We're practicing. Also, in the present day, there's a sexy detective lady and her partner, who is a nerdy detective who doesn't have a chance with sexy detective, and they notice people are disappearing. Is the sexy detective a guy or a girl? It's a woman. A woman, so like Ashley Judd would be good for that. I no, it wouldn't be good for Ashley Judd at all. She's way too old to be she, sexy detective. What are you talking about? She's hot as hell. And she's played like ten years ago. She was hot as hell and always played sexy detective, but she's too old to play sexy detective. But uh, sexy detective needs a younger face, a new face, like, like an Ellen Page, man. He's a time traveling, cock blocking serial killer. Did I get that's that right? Exa that's exactly right, Pete. Okay. We've seen time traveling films. We've seen cock blocking. We've seen what? serial killers, but we've never seen all three at once. What? One cock blocking film. Big one. Yeah. Really good, son. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jeremy. Bye. Good work. I'll see you next week. Can't wait till you straighten out all the uh, problems with your pitch. Well, there are no, there are no problems, Graham, so I can't wait to see how you finish your pitch. Okay? Hey, you got shit all over your face. You should wash it. I know there's talking on my face, actually. Thank you. Whatever. I really liked your pitch today. Uh, I think uh, the, the politics of time travel is, is uh, way more interesting than, say, like teleportation. Or um, I guess I was wondering if you might, you know, I mean, there's a lot of like loopholes that come around, and well, just if you might want to get together and, and work on your script sometime. Well, there's just one thing I, I must make very clear, my darling. I have already written the first draft of the script of Stopwatch, and it is registered with the Writers Guild of Canada. So that means you, even if you want to yeah, steal it, you can't, and I could sue you. That's a safe, smart idea. That's fine. That's fine. It is a smart idea. I know, because I yeah. thought of it. What? Yeah, I know there's chocolate on my face. I know. Yeah. Because I, I, yeah, I know. Like, do you, do you want to come over to my house? Come over to your house? Yeah. To work on my script? Yeah. In your apartment? Yes. Do you want to come over?